Welcome to the NewGrid ISO setup in VirtualBox tutorial. Um, last time we set up Nubuntu Furnished using the um, sorry using its VirtualBox image, which was a faster setup, but a bigger file to download. And um, this time we'll be using the ISO, which I have downloaded on my desktop over here. So it's a smaller image, but it's a bit of a bigger setup. You can also, the benefit of using the ISO is you can use it with different virtualization software. So to start, I'm going to click New in VirtualBox. I'm going to name it. I'm going to do the light version this time. Um, it seems to work with a gigabyte of RAM, but I'm going to give it two gigabytes. And I want to create a virtual hard drive. If you're going to be using it with different virtualization software, um, you can use a different uh, hard drive type, but I, I'm going to stick with VDI because I'm only using it on VirtualBox. Um, dynamically allocated hard drives means that all of the space you designate to it won't be used until it's actually full of data, um, but it's a bit slower to access. Fixed size, however big, however much space you designate for its hard drive size will be used up. Um, but a bit faster to access. I recommend at least 10 gigabytes if you plan on downloading the full SV entry. Um, I'm going to go for 15 here. So it's created. Um, the next step is to actually mount the ISO on it. So I'm going to click start. It'll give us a few warnings about how to catch and release our keyboard and mouse so we don't get stuck in this window. And then we have to find the actual ISO. Here it is. Let's start it up. Just a side note, the ISO will be available for download. There's a link below the video. Um, we want to actually install it. The live mode just means that it'll run off of that ISO image and then save to it again, which doesn't have any space to save. So we're going to install it using the installer. That was the grub menu, and if there was confusion, again, you have to just scroll down using your arrow keys. Well, you can see the setup screen is here. Okay, so from here, we do it like a regular setup, and we have um, my language I'm going to use is English. I'm not plugged into a power source, but that's okay. Um, and I don't actually want to download updates right now while I'm installing. So I'm just going to continue. Um, this is, uh, they're talking about your virtual hard disk you just made. Mine was 15 gigabytes, so don't worry. It won't release, uh, erase your actual hard drive. And I want to install. A pretty quick little process here. Thinks we're in Vancouver, which is close enough. I'm in Victoria, so I'll click continue. And yep, yeah, I'll use my English US keyboard. All the while, you can see at the bottom it's copying those files. Oh, here we go, the final copy. This obviously takes a little bit longer on the new grid or new Ubuntu furnished version. Um, just it has a bit more data to copy over with that full SV entry. Still just ticking away. I might make this a little bit shorter in the YouTube video because this really isn't worth watching. Oh, 
are almost there. I cut out the middle of some of that video, so don't be scared if, or don't worry about your kind of install or file copying taking five or ten minutes, especially depending on the computer you're on. Installing the system. Okay, so I sped up the video in the middle there a little bit, but basically if it takes you five minutes um, or ten minutes to kind of install, especially depending on your system, it's not a big deal. Um, when it's all done, the files will just copy. There's nothing to kind of do in the meantime. Now we just click restart. Uh, this is just asking us to remove the CD if that's how we installed, or the flash drive if that's how we installed. But if we're just using the ISO on the computer, we click enter. Now there's a chance you'll get something like this, um, depending on how new of a computer you're running and what kind of graphics card you have. If it does happen to you, um, just click OK. And you want to run it in low graphics mode for just one session. Oh, click OK again. So the login data for it is just NewGrid is the username, and NewGrid is the password. Now when we're logged in, what we want to do is go sudo apt get install I believe it's NVIDIA current updates after our administrative password again which is new grid and we do want to give it that 113 megabytes of course because we want to have our um, user interface
Okay, so I sped up the video a little bit there as well, but basically it just took about two minutes to install um, all of those NVIDIA drivers. Um, now we're just going to go sudo reboot, and the virtual machine will start again. Let's see if it'll do it this time. There we go, all done. So we log in using our new grid password again. And the first step I would recommend again is to go to your home folder and check out that readme because that'll give you tips on how to start mounting the SV entry or sorry, how to download the SV entry and how to mount the CADC data and start compiling some code. Um, the only other thing you might want to know before turning off your virtual machine is that the resolution is set on VirtualBox. It doesn't get any higher than this unless you go up to Devices and you click on Install Guest Editions. If you give it a second, the CD will mount on the computer here, or on the virtual machine. We're going to click Run. Type in our administrative password, NewGrid. And it just takes a second to download the modules it needs to basically give us a window that can resize. It just takes a minute. Oh, it'll say there's a problem, but there doesn't seem to have any kind of issue with it. There we go, so it logs us out automatically, and if not, you're going to click return, and then it'll be resizable. So we're going to log in here. Good. And there you can see that now when we drag the screen around, it resizes, so we can kind of have a full screen resolution if we want. Now to power off the machine, you just exit that window. You can tell it to send the shutdown signal and go shut down. And that's all. You now have the new grid tools mounted on your virtual machine, on your virtual box. Thanks for watching.